Hey everybody, welcome to this video. My name is Eva Prokofiev and I am the lead instructor for the Chinese Ocean Investigator course. Now I am making this video because I want to explain to you uh, what makes our course unique, right? Uh, what makes our course stand out in the market? What is so different about it? Uh, what is the unique elements in this course? And uh, also at the same time, wanted to take this opportunity to present myself uh, in this video. That's it really, it's going to be a relatively short video. We're just going to uh, run through some, uh, you know, some unique elements of this course. I'm going to talk to you about how do we combine hacking, uh, penetration testing and uh, well, Chinese OSINT. Uh, what makes uh, this course stand out is the fact that we do not limit yourself to think like an OSINT investigator only, right? So, for example, if uh, if you want to be confident truly in investigating China's ecosystem, and this is, you know, see, the thing is, this is what most Western investigators face, uh, the challenge of linguistics, right? Uh, one of those things is linguistics anyway. And so when we look at uh, collecting information right from uh, Chinese sources, we oftentimes um, have the challenge of not only linguistics, but because of that influential factors all a factor also understanding context. That is uh, very challenging to most of us in very different lines of work. It can be like journalism or PI or law enforcement and so on and so forth, cybersecurity as well. So there is that. Uh, the other thing is, uh, well, in by taking our course, you'll be able to actually gain skills, skills of research, skills of understanding context, looking for anything that you want. People, companies, anything and everything, hacker groups, hacker forums, for example, the latest developments uh, of some kind of hacker tools or reverse search engines that are not even known in the West. And that is for a fact, because... Uh, it really it really goes to, you know, how you search, uh, how do you understand how to work around the language and these kind of challenges and barriers that most of us face when we see a, a whole bunch of Chinese text. So there is that. Uh, different search strategies. Understanding how to conduct source development is another emphasis. As an investigator, it's really important that you understand how to develop your own sources. And what it means is, for example, it's not only Googling, for example, like Chinese OSINT links uh, 2023. Uh, it's not really going to give you that much. It's already something that somebody else has found and identified and posted it on the internet. So chances are it's not as valuable, right, per se. Um, so that is the first thing. And then really teaching you how to find fresh information, anything and everything you can think of, hacker forums, new types of sources of information, search engines, uh, anything that is required for op open source intelligence analysts today, uh, but within Chinese ecosystem. So uh, there is that. And uh, additionally, you know, the other unique element that we present besides hacking, leveraging hacking uh, and pen testing methods and, and techniques and tactics and really bringing in the kind of hacker mindset into this uh, entire course really into the work of an OSINT analyst within China, but also uh, giving you the know-how of uh, the pen tester, like, right? So for example, like, let's say we have a website, we've discussed some kind of website that is a document sharing platform, right? How can you turn a basic website into an actual source of information for open source intelligence analysts? So that is, uh, these are two different things you need to understand. Having websites versus just using, you know, using websites versus just uh, understanding how to actually leverage and utilize a website based on, you know, some technological factors, digging deeper, uh, conducting enumeration, understanding how API works. Um, all of these kind of technological nuances that usually, usually in most cases, open source Intel analysts don't really look into. So that is what we bring into that benefits yourself, benefits um, the kind of the way that you look at sources of information, the way that you maximize your ability to find new things and so on and so forth. So that is about uh, the hacking part. Now, uh, another thing is the relevancy element. So when you think about, right, the way that our course is structured is that we have um, we have video lessons, right? Uh, and we also give you a resource book. Now, when you think about resource books, right, uh, any kind of uh, ebook or digital books, 
or just generally uh, regular books even, right? So when you buy an ocean book, um, 99% of the time, it loses its relevancy of data because, well, it's just how things are, right? Uh, data gets old. You inevitably don't have much use in that book anymore. And so, and that is the reason we decided not to publish a book. Uh, this was a consideration, but uh, we decided not to publish a book, but instead to create a unique product out there in the market that can be of value. And of value means that it actually is uh, keeping the relevancy element. So let's say if you purchase the course today, so you are getting the uh, new editions of the resource book for a period of up to six months. Um, so it means, right, as an investigator, as an investigator, you're working with new information, you're working with updated content, uh, you're constantly receiving new tips and tricks, new search strategies, new kind of different guidelines and case scenarios to how to search or what kind of things you can come up with um, in the Chinese OSINT uh, ecosystem. What kind of case scenarios can you come across? Uh, how, to, um, how to get around these case scenarios? For example, if you want to search for something complicated, if you want to find some specific information and so on and so forth. You so. can go to the Academy website at epcyber.com. You can go ahead, click on the courses that interest you. Uh, go right here for the Chinese OSINT investigator one and uh, really just deep dive into the content. See what we talk about. Uh, here you have an insider look at uh, our video lessons, uh, introduction to the course, uh, job relevancy when it comes to the skills that you gain and how they are applicable in real life uh, when it comes to Chinese related OSINT uh, analysis and research roles. So uh, what kind of abilities will you gain uh, when it comes to research analysis and all of that in between? So there is that. And also um, really just talking about the syllabus. So you have all of that here, uh, some kind of uh, unique elements and points of uh, what makes this course uh, unique, right, on the market today, the most unique and comprehensive course when it comes to Chinese OSINT. Uh, also want to remind you guys that we have the resource book, right? So you're getting new editions of the resource book for a period of six months. And also, if you want to see uh, the content in the resource book, you can go, go ahead and click on the sneak peek right here. So it will show you what topics we talk about in the resource book itself, which is really great. I recommend you to do that. And uh, that is really it, right? So some things you can do after after you take our Chinese OSINT course and after you complete that. So you can OSINT absolutely anything. You will not have to worry about any barriers when it comes to linguistics to begin with. Uh, you will have a solid background when it comes to Chinese related nuances, right? I mean, I'm not teaching you about the history of China because it's really important to understand that for an OSINT analyst, there is only specific information that may be valuable uh, in some case scenarios when you investigate something, right? Uh, so that is something we include also in the resource book, also in the video lessons, and uh, giving you the ability to look from a different lens, right? So from the hacker lens, from another different point of view, uh, when uh, researching and analyzing information, also discovering Chinese sources, right? Uh, by yourself, mastering the art of developing new sources in Chinese, finding new data and pivoting, and really all in all, just boosting your proficiency uh, in the way that you navigate this uh, foreign ecosystem. So that is briefly about that. And uh, that is it. I can also recommend you guys to check out our blog right here. We have various different articles, blog posts uh, that really talk about cool things, uh, cool OSINT stuff and tips and tricks and tutorials and all of the related materials. So uh, that is all. I want to say thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye bye.